This video is for entertainment purposes only. All of the information in this video was taken from the internet. I am not saying the information is fact. The war between 420 and TSMG has been going on for a couple of years now. There was a point in time when members of 420 and members of TSMG would hang out together in Fairfield, Alabama. They would gather on the 400 block of 62nd Street to shoot dice and smoke. Members of 420 would refer to the hangout house as Granny House because it is the home of family members of 420. Members from TSMG, such as Ray World De Niro and TSMG Trigger Man would often hang out there and shoot dice with members of 420. At the time, they were all around the age of 15. When Ray World De Niro and a 420 member had become aware that they were both seeing the same female, tension started rising between the two groups. Both groups have had a member pass away, and they were both disrespected as tension rose. It is unclear who was the first to disrespect the passing of the other's friend. Towards the end of the year 2021, the first body between the two groups would drop. On September 25, 2021, Birmingham police were called to an apartment complex on Duggan Avenue in the Pratt area. They found 26-year-old Joshua Rogers, also known as Josh Bizzle, suffering from a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead on the scene. This was the third time he had been injured in a shooting. A month after the passing of Josh, the second body would drop between the two groups after a team who was an associate of TSMG, who went by the nickname PJ, took it upon himself to disrespect 420 Josh Bizzle on Facebook. Members of 420 sold and sought out against him. On October 18, 2021, Jefferson County Sheriff deputies found 18-year-old Aunt Wanda Mon Horn shot multiple times behind a sick goat in Fairfield. He was taken to UAB West Hospital where he was pronounced dead. That following night, members of 420 were gathered at Granny House, when two cars pulled up and opened fire on the group of people outside the house. Vehicles were damages in the process of over 100 rounds being fired back and forth. A round ricocheted off of the ground and struck 420 member Hot Head Joe in the leg. After months of back and forth online taunts from the two groups, the third body would drop between the two groups. On April 25, 2022, 19-year-old Davian Hickley, also known as TSMG Trigger Man, along with three others, were injured from a hail of gunfight on the 800 block of 3rd Avenue West around 2 a.m. Trigger Man was pronounced dead on the scene. Birmingham police just released more information about the city's latest homicide. It happened in the pre-dawn hours in the 800 block of 3rd Avenue West. The victim, 19-year-old Davian Marcel Hickley. Three others were shot but have non-life-threatening injuries. And as you can see from the video, there were dozens of evidence markers put out by police. Police, in fact, believe there were several shooters involved. Just two days later, the fourth body would drop between the two groups. On April 27, 2022, 
Birmingham police were called to 901 Bankhead Highway on a report of a person shot. They arrived to find 22-year-old Le Cameron Darum, also known as 23, and another 420 member shot multiple times. 23 was pronounced dead on the scene. Two months later, the fifth body would drop between the two groups. On July 25, 2022, officers were dispatched to the 700 block of 6th Avenue West on a report of multiple shot spot alerts. On the scene, they found a stolen Audi SUV of Shelby County Park with the driver suffering from gunshot wounds. 19-year-old White D'Angelo Thomas, also known as D.D., was pronounced dead on the scene. Rumor has it that TSMG were looking to score and Didi was the driver that night, resulting in the mission being failed. A month later, the sixth body would drop between the two groups. Some say this shooting had nothing to do with TSMG, while others disagree. When August 12th, 2022, police and medics were called to a Shell gas station in the 4,000 block of Messer Airport Highway to find 18-year-old Alfred Lorenzo Jenkins, also known as 41st AJ, unresponsive in the doorway. He was taken to UAB Hospital where he was pronounced dead the following day. I send my condolences to all the family members of the victims of this war.